Well, there's no doubt, Dean, that steam engines are impressive, especially when they're linked to trains as locomotives. Oh, they certainly are. What a terrible pity they can't actually work. What are you talking about? You've seen trains move, I've seen trains move, and I know that you've seen this train moving. Well, they look glorious. What a terrible pity they can't actually go along. What are you talking about? Well, in theory they can't because, you see, at the bottom of each wheel, the wheel is actually going backwards. Ah, I think I know what you're on about. You see, every wheel on a train, the engine and the carriages, is a little bit like this. There's the wheel part itself and then there's a rim or flange that sticks out and actually hangs inside the rail and the wheel moves forward in that way. Everything seems to be going forward. However, if we take a pen and make a little mark on the wheel itself, just there, and another one on the flange next to it, there. Now watch what happens when that moves along the rail. If we start with our two marks at the top, as the wheel moves from left to right, those two bits are moving forward, those two marked pieces. Have a look at the piece on the wheel itself. As it comes down near the rail, for a moment it's actually stationary there as it sits on the rail. What's happening to the mark on the flange? As the wheel moves forward, that little mark underneath moves backwards. See? Wheel forward, flange backwards. So the bit on the bottom of the flange is moving backwards all the time as the wheel moves forward. And that's not only true of this wheel, but every wheel on the engine and every wheel on every carriage. So you rather make the point the train ought to be going backwards. And if that's not enough, there's another problem. What's that? It has to do with the construction of the wheels. You see, they're actually fixed on the axle. Yes. And they're the same size. So whatever one wheel does, the other wheel has to do. One can't go faster than the other, and they can't go at different speeds. And yet, when you look at the track, you've got this problem. Whenever a train gets to a curve, the mm -hmm. outer track is longer. And if the wheels are going to go around that, one has to go faster or one has to go further. That's and yet, they're fixed together, and they must do the same thing. So obviously, the train can't go anywhere. Amazing. And we'll leave you with it. That's all we have time for today. Goodbye. Goodbye.